Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I just want to start off by saying a massive thank you for 10,000 subscribers. It is absolutely unbelievable and I want to thank every single one of you for subscribing and watching the videos. I hope you're enjoying them. I'm just going to get straight on into the video. I don't want to go on too much, but today's video is going to be my mods of the month. I'm going to be doing this at the end of every single month for you guys to show you what the best mods are right now. The first mod I have in my game that I use all the time is MCC Command Center or MC Command Center. I use this Every time it gets updated, I take it out and put it back in and I always have this in my game. I have had this in my game since I started playing it, like since the game was like able to have this in it. I use both MC Command Center and MC Woohoo. You can find it here and this is Deaderpool's website. I'll leave the links to all of these mods, I'll leave them in the top comment of this video. I'll pin the comment for you guys so you guys can access them and find them really, really easily. And I'll show you guys what it looks like in game and stuff, but this is my favourite mod and this is number one for this month. This is the menu for MCC and as you can see here it just gives you a bunch of different options and you can do a lot of different things here. You can do things such as change the sim's age without going into cast and stuff. And to find the menu you literally just click on your sim and it'll be right here. It has its own little picture and everything and you can just click it and it gives you all these options. And there's also a bunch of PC options that you can use in the game. And this is where you kind of do all your settings for it, like pregnancy percentage, things like that, risky woo woo percentage. This is all in here. It's super easy to use and super, super helpful for in game. The next mod I always have in my game as well is Slice of Life by Kawaii Stacy. You can find them here on her own website. Again, it'll be linked, but Slice of Life just gives so much to your game that isn't already there and I just genuinely really really enjoy it and there's so much to it you can have a look at the website there's like all different like it gives you different emotions personality systems this is one of my favorite things actually having personality for your sims is incredible uh, you get all different emotions and stuff and overall it's just a really good mod that I advise anybody who wants a little bit of a difference to the game to download this and just try it out it's amazing and then slice of life is the same as MCC you can find it right here and then MCC has its own options, things like skincare, you can get like sheet masks and things. For acne and things that also come with Slice of Life, there's more text options, things like that. Like ask for money, confess crush to someone, check on someone, call someone, complain to people, argue with people. It just gives them way more things to do rather than just playing on their phone in game. The next mod is this video is sponsored by Wifood. Why have been kind enough to send me out one of their taster packs for me to try out for you guys and let you guys know just how amazing they taste. If you're like me and you sit at a desk all day and don't have time to make any food or you're out on the go and you want a quick easy meal that's convenient to carry, Y food is a great alternative. It's also a lot healthier than snacking on chocolate and other kinds of snacks and plus it makes me feel full for absolutely ages after drinking one. This pack contains loads of amazing flavours such as smooth vanilla, alpine chocolate, crazy coconut, cold brew coffee and happy banana. They also have loads of other amazing products on their website. Personally, out of what I've received, my absolute favourite is the Smooth Vanilla. It tastes so good and so yummy and honestly, I could drink it every single day if I had to. So if you want to get yourself a tester pack or anything else off the website, be sure to go down to the description and click the link or head over to Y Foods website and use code KRT10 at checkout to get 10% off your order. Thanks again to Waifood for sponsoring this video. Also by Kawaii Stacy, she honestly does some amazing mods and I recommend trying all of them, she has quite a lot, but these are just my favourites. So the education system bundle is also absolutely amazing. It gives you preschool for toddlers, which I really like. And it means that when your sim goes to school, they actually learn different skills, which is so much more realistic. Plus when they do homework, as you can see here, smarter homework, they do learn stuff when they do homework. They increase skills and it is just so much better for leveling skills up as that is pretty hard in the game sometimes. And I just think it is more realistic that they would learn as they do stuff in their homework and at school. Personally, I like this mod because it does add a bit more realism to the game and I really like that about it. And again, it is one of my favourites and it's something I always keep in my game. As soon as the game updates, I update it. I love it that much. The education bundle. I only have toddlers in this game, but obviously you have, like I said, it gives you skills. But you can also quit public school. So this sim is in public school because it's a toddler and it's preschool. So I've quit the preschool to you guys. So when you click on your sim, you're going to have a preschool option if it's a toddler. And it'll give you the option to join private or public so just see what I join private. The next one I really like that I actually haven't seen too much on YouTube. I found this one by myself. I haven't seen too many people actually recommend this. Maybe they have, maybe they haven't. It's also by Kawaii Stacy. I found this while just going through her website sort of looking at the mods she had. Life Decider. It's a bit strange and a bit random and it's, it is unnecessary but it's so fun to put in your game because 
you can just, as you can see here, you click a button and it just completely gives them, it gives them careers, it gives them friendships, it gives like other sims so much stuff to start off with so you're not just meeting boring sims and it just adds a little bit more excitement to the game by having people you're going to meet, like NPCs that actually have proper jobs and it, even if you want to use it on your own sim, it'll just randomly pick sims from like all over the town to just have as friends in the game, which I quite like because when you start a fresh game and you have a brand new sim with no connections to anything, it's a nice start to the game and it just makes things a lot better. Plus, it can also give you these bonus traits and it's just really, really nice to have in the game. I love having bonus traits and stuff like that to just give your sims a little bit more personality. And then for Life Decider, it's the same as the other ones. You just click on the sim and then you click Life Decider and you can decide all lives near it. So I'll do all the townies. I'll decide all the lives with friendships and stuff. You might get people randomly choose to be friends with you or you can choose a random act like bonus tree, a random career, it pretty much does all that. If, I've already done it with a sim but if you do it with a new sim it just gives you an option to decide that sim's life completely and it's really fun and it just uh, like it doesn't make it so much that you have to do stuff which I really like and it kind of creates its own little things to do and friendships and stuff. I really like it. The next one is on Patreon. You can see it here again it's all linked below. This is the UI cheats. I don't need to say too much about this. I'm sure everybody knows what it is and what it does. Uh, it's just a really good thing to always have in your game and I feel the need to always have it there and that's why it's in this one because I always have it in my game and it will always be with the, right, the last four that I've showed you guys. This one, these are like my top five. Absolutely must have in your game all the time and would never take them out unless it's to update them and that's why this is on number five for my list. And then UI cheats just works so like I can click here and it gives me, so that was right clicking and it gives you like a set number so I can put this to like one then set it and she would need the toilet really badly and you can also just click like left click normally where you want it to go to. It also works with in game money just right click and you can pick again if you want to add simoleons or bits or pieces or anything like that it just all works really easily. The next one I really really enjoy is Wonderful Whims. This is a newer one I've been using. I've used it quite a lot and it's been in my game for the month like about I think about a month and a half to two months now and I really do enjoy it. I enjoy the attractiveness system that's kind of the whole reason I actually downloaded this was for the attractiveness system because I think it is the one thing missing from sims is that they don't really have a specific taste in sims and this adds that and just makes it way better. And then for Wonderful Whims again just come to the real. Mine was on my second reel of options so there's the beginning you click more options and then attractiveness and you can set preferences or generate preferences and when you're out and about you can scope out the surroundings and it will tell you what you find attractive and then when you go into a sim profile with it it will tell you if your sim finds this other sim so this is my main sim it says that he she finds this sim extremely attractive. The next one is on the same Patreon as UI Cheats and this is a more columns mod and this is for Cass and it does exactly what it says, it just gives you more columns. I have it to I believe five in mine or four in mine. I believe I have the four and you can pick yourself how many columns you want. So I have four in my game but you can pick three or five and because I use custom content it just makes it a whole lot easier to see it a lot quicker and just to be able to not have to scroll for ages to find one thing it just makes things laid out way neater and there's less scrolling involved. The more columns mod as you can see here I have four columns I did pick the four you can have five it'd be even easier but as you can see it just takes less time to scroll down stuff which I really enjoy and it just looks a lot nicer as well. I've kind of got used to the way it likes I've had it quite a while now and I prefer the way this looks to normal in game. The next thing I completely recommend is any kind of extra traits or trait bundles. The one I really enjoy, I actually have quite a few from this, it's from Snowy95. I really enjoy her trait bundles and they just come with a bunch of other ones that I believe are actually from The Sims 3. You can see all the extra ones here, they just add extra things because I don't personally think there's enough extra traits and things like that in game and I just really think there should be more and this adds more and gives again, like I've said many times, adds more personality to your sims. Also she does have more if you actually check out her Patreon and they are all free. Everything in this video is free, even if they are on Patreon, they are completely free. I made sure for you guys that all the mods I'll be showing you will be free in these videos. Don't be afraid that it's going to cost you anything because it's not. And then trait bundles and things, this is the aspiration one. I want to show you guys, obviously I showed you the trait ones, but these are the aspirations. These are the same Snowy95 and these give you a bunch of different aspirations that I believe are from Sims 3, I almost certainly they are. It gives you a bunch of different aspirations that aren't in the game currently because really there's not really that many when you compare it to how many I have now. There's not that many in the game normally. And then the next mod I really enjoy is Have Some Personality Please and this is by Polar Bear Sims. You can find this on Mod The Sims and it just gives your sims when they talk about stuff, it just like it gives them better things to talk about 
and it just means your sims will communicate a bit better without you kind of leading the conversation and it's not something you'll notice instantly in your game like it's not something that's going to come with its own menu but there is some more interaction options and stuff and it does make your sims you know boost their friendship and just gives them different options to talk rather than having the same sort of things constantly pop up on your wheel to talk about and stuff and it means that you don't have to kind of micromanage your sims as much during conversations to make friendships and then the last one i can recommend is i think this class is a mod i class it as a mod is reshade again it's not something that's in game like changing your in-game like sims and stuff. This is purely going to add a bit of different colour and a bit of dimension. I use mine to brighten my game as I'll show you guys and you can find it on reshade.me. Again, it'll be in the link with all the other links. I'm going to list them out for you guys in order so they'll be in exact order of what they're in this video. And the reshade I actually use is the Gabe Bright presets and I just honestly prefer a brighter looking game. I just really think everybody should reshade their game if they have a PC that can handle it. This is going to be one of those things that if your PC isn't the best or if you're on a laptop that isn't the best then this will probably not run amazing on your PC. It is going to slow your PC down a teeny tiny bit if you like me and you have a pc that you won't notice it on go for it but if you do have a pc that already struggles with sims i can't recommend this one but if you do have a pc that works amazing and can run this sort of thing go for it add it to your game you can edit it and everything yourself and it makes such a difference this is my reshade on and this is my reshade off so this is what the base game looks like with no shaders at all when you have it you just this is the menu for it and you can see there's different options so this is the preset i use there's loads of different presets so i use this one and then i have it set to like certain things like i have my brightness and stuff up a teeny tiny little bit more and the tint i've took it down because the natural tint on this actual preset is a bit pink so i just turned it down but yeah i just think it makes your sims look so much better and that's why i always have it in my game hope you guys enjoyed today's video be sure to let me know down below what you'd like to see next and let me know if you guys have any of these mods or if there's any mods you guys think i should have in my game that i don't i'd love to try some more mods out thank you to everyone that subscribed as i said at the beginning be sure to subscribe if you haven't already i make videos all the time and i really enjoy making them and i think you guys will enjoy watching them hopefully feel free to leave a like and of course join if you want to i have channel members turned on and i'll see you guys in my next video bye